So hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Martin Bolter and over the coming weeks and months, I'm going to be putting content out there to do with AutoCAD 2020 and Inventor 2020. So in this tutorial we're going to look at uh, gears and diff how to create different gears. We're going to start with a two-dimensional drawing and then through that the two-dimensional drawing will be exactly the same for all of these gears and then we'll then extrude them into a straight gear, a helicoil gear and a bevel gear uh, for use in different applications. But ultimately they are all the same two-dimensional drawing. So we'll jump straight into the uh, tutorial and we'll start again, like I said, start from the two-dimensional and work through from there. So I'm going to immediately start by drawing three circles the, uh, and I'm going to use a circle diameter. The first one will be 41 millimeters. The, uh, the second diameter will be 45.5 millimeters and the third diameter will be uh, 50 millimeters. These are going to help us construct the tooth. We'll put them into a different layer in a minute um, but we're going to start by another draw a line but this time we're going to use the quadrant so we're going to draw a line from the top of the first quadrant uh, come down a distance as long as it's inside the uh, smallest circle and we'll then offset the line three times from this original line the first offset is going to be 0 0.85 the second offset will be 1.7 from the same line, original line again and the third offset will be 2.1 we'll then zoom in and we're going to just uh, cut the uh, trim the lines off to the outside circle so that we've got a nice trimmed edge and we'll also trim the bottom section off so it trims to the inside circle what we'll do now is we'll put a, uh, uh, the lines into a construction layer that I've already got set up if you want to know more about that there's a video on layers and layer properties or tutorial. So I'm going to go for an arc now and I want center start end. So I'm going to start from the center of the small circle, come up to the top of the first line and then hold control down and go to the second line. The control means that it draws the circle uh, the other way around. I'll then do a three point arc from the second line to the midpoint of the third and then I'll uh, turn my ortho mode on off sorry and uh, finish at the bottom of the fourth line I'm now going to turn off the construction light lines or make them not visible and I'm going to now mirror this tooth or what is half a tooth around the center that original first line I'll switch me ortho mode back on just to make sure that uh, I get it exactly right um, keep the original object and then I will put this uh, vertical line into a construction layer. I'm now going to join this tooth together because I need it to be one polyline for when I uh, do the polar array. And I'll click my array and then drop down to polar array, select the tooth select the center point of the base of the array and then I'm going to uh, array it a total number of 23 times. This number is dependent on the uh, diameter of your original circle. Once I've got that I can then click uh, close array and I will immediately explode that uh, back out to its individual lines so that I can now cut out the individual sections or trim out the individual sections. So I'll select the whole gear 
and then I'll go around selecting the sections in between the teeth. This is just one of those functions that there's no shortcut, so you just got to literally go around individually taking out the sections. Once I've completed that, I'm going to join all the teeth together. So it's now one complete polyline and now I'll copy it uh, several times because I'm going to need this as our original or our two dimensional drawing that we'll use for all of our gears from here on in. So I'm going to swap out to my uh, 3D modeling mode and I'm going to just extrude the one first one uh, straight up uh, and I'm going to extrude it 20 mil so I'll click my extrude function select the uh, object that I want to extrude hit enter and then extrude it 20 mil I'll uh, change my view so that I've got a more uh, realistic view with the shades of grey now going to copy this gear to one side I'll use the center point of the circle as my base point and then I'm going to use the rotate function just to rotate the gear slightly so that the teeth line up it can be tricky to find the center point but if you just try it you'll get it um, I'll turn ortho mode off make it easier to rotate the gear um, zoom in, I've got a slight clash so I'm going to move it to one side again just to get rid of the clash. Make sure my ortho mode's on so that I... And there we go, that's looking good. So my second gear is going to be a helicoil gear so I'm going to need a vertical line in the centre of the gear to start off with um, and that's going to be a height of 20 mil again I've orientated myself so I'm definitely going vertically up out the centre of the gear then I'll drop the menu down in the extrude and select sweep I'll select the object I want to sweep hit enter and then I want to do a twist, in, that's in the bottom section there in the command bar. I'm going to twist it through 45 degrees and then select the path, that vertical line for the sweep. Now I can't copy this one because I'll end up with the teeth all clashing together the same way. So what I, want, not what I need to do with this one is mirror the object. So I come down and select the mirror function select the object and then I just need to draw a vertical line next to it which will then mirror it. I'm now just going to move that object into the other gear. I'll use go underneath it, sometimes easier to select the center point of that circle. Move it in and then I'm going to do the rotate again just to so that the uh, they don't clash again I'm going underneath to get the center point this can be a bit fiddly sometimes so sometimes it's better to uh, change your view angle or just keep on trying until you get it sometimes you zoom in zoom out change your angle I'll turn off my ortho mode again so that I can rotate the uh, gear a little bit better a little bit easier So there we go, I've got a clash again so I'm going to have to move it out slightly. I'm 
find that center point again put my ortho mode back on and there we go that looks good So the next gear is going to be a bevel gear and we'll need the vertical line in the center again. Again it'll be 20 mil. Sorry, I'm going to do it 10 mil for this one. So I'll select sweep, select um, the, uh, the 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 two-dimensional drawing, and then I'm going to scale it from the bottom down the bottom there in the command bar. Um, I'm going to scale it by 0.5. Um, and you've noticed that the gear is the wrong way up so I'll do a three-dimensional rotate uh, so it's the right way up so we need to put a couple of circles and extrude a couple of circles on the underneath um, and I, we need to so that the teeth at the bottom don't clash and they're they're also quite weak down there so uh, we will draw two circles, one from the centre out to the bottom of the tooth there and one again from the centre again it's always a bit tricky to pick up the centre point and we'll go out to the centre of the uh, teeth itself, the very extent of the teeth what we're going to do now is extrude standard extrusion and we're going to extrude the outside circle and the inside circle this inside circle can be a bit tricky to pick up um, sometimes if you get it wrong you have to change the view angle change the zoom I've selected the not the circle but the object there so right if you hold down shift and right click on the gear it will deselect it so coming in again, trying again to pick up that circle. No, again, so uh, shift and then click the gear or deselect. So I've moved my angle of view. There you go, and I picked up just that inside circle. If we hit enter to do the extrusion, and down the bottom here we want to put the taper angle in. And the taper angle we want is minus 45. and we just want to come up to roughly the top of the gear and now what we will do is we're going to do a solid subtract now remembering that with solid subtract we want to select the object we want to keep first with a left click then press right click and then left click on the object we want to delete and then right click uh, to delete it like so now what we want to do is we want to do a solid subtract again we're going to select the gear which we want to keep and then select the outside extrusion to delete and you can see we've now ended up with a bevel edge on the bottom of that uh, bevel gear so what we'll do now is we'll do a helicoil bevel gear so again vertical line 10 mil high we'll do a sweep select the sweep select the gear the two-dimensional gear drawing hit enter and then select scale 0.5 and then select twist 
at 45 and then select the twist path which is that vertical line and there we've got our twisted bevel gear and we're going to do the same with the two circles on the bottom now I haven't shown you how to do the um, to copy or to mirror these because it's exactly the same as the other two gears we did uh, you just need to do a three dimensional rotate to rotate the gear into a vertical axis um, so the first bevel gear you'll do a copy and then a three dimensional rotate this one because it's the helicoil you'll need to do a mirror and then do the three dimensional rotate and then move them both in um, and so that they don't clash in exactly the same way as uh, we did in the first two gears so we're going to do that extrusion again so remember this bit's quite tricky for the inside one so if you do happen to select the wrong line or the gear shift and then select it again or deselect it there you go I've hit the wrong one again so zoom in change my view angle and then I've picked it up there the one that I wanted we'll do the taper angle again at minus 45 we want to just be below the top or cover the gear it doesn't matter we'll do the solid subtract again keeping the object first and then we'll do the solid subtract again keeping the gear first and there we have it